You're watching Big Ty. Alright, we're back with another review. Today we're doing the blue team leader skin. Um, she think I'm pretty sure she, the only thing she came with was the skin and the glider. This is from a pack from season 5 and this was from a pack from season 10. So she didn't have that much when she first came out. Um, it was only this skin. You can't get it anymore. It was a PS Plus exclusive. Uh, came out a bit after, you know, a bit after the battle pass. So, yeah, um, it was the first PS Plus pack that we ever had for Fortnite. Um, there's really nothing else to say about it. You just can't get it anymore. It's, I would say, somewhat rare. Not too rare. Um, yeah, you have this glider too. But, uh, yeah, let's get in the review. There's nothing else to really say. Let's do it. Alright, the blue team leader. This is a very basic skin. Um, the con the pickaxe is called the I think it's called the controller. It came out season five. I'm not gonna really care about it, but you know it goes with their Tekken goes with the set because it was a PS Plus pack eventually. Um, sometime in season five, that's what it says on it. So, but uh, yeah, let's do some swing. Pull, pull it, I guess. First. Swing. Nice blue streak going. I don't really care about the pickaxe though. So. I'm not gonna do players because this is technically not with her. Do ADS. I have the Radiant Blue wrap. Uh, season 10 wrap. Same thing. Uh, it was in a PS Plus pack. So, yeah. It's probably the best thing that came from the PS Plus pack is the wrap. So nice. This is Ninja and it looks really fucking good. Looks like uh, when you pack Hunter Gun and Origins from zombies. That's what it looks like to me. Looks real nice. ADS is pretty good. Okay, but, uh, it is a reskin of what is that? The Arctic one? I don't remember the name of it. The Arctic one. I don't remember. It was from season two, though. I know that. ADS isn't bad. So some shield. Oh, I don't know why I was aiming down sights. There we go. I gotta. I don't know. I gotta fix that or something. Bandages. Mini. Slurp fish. Slash. Slurp juice. Big. Mad kit. And trigger. Okay. The glider, the what's it? I don't know the name, let's check. Let's check. Okay, well. It always happens. Blue Street, that's the name. Forward, back, left, right. Yeah, this came with her in season two. I'm fucking pretty damn sure. If I'm wrong, I'm be pissed. But I'm 99% sure that came with her because those are the only things I searched when I typed in season two. And it's in, it's a chapter one too. Or no, it might have not. It might not have said one chapter. Hasn't even said any chapters, so it's gonna be season chapter. Yeah, she didn't come up with Alpha Green. She, I think the only thing she came with was the skin and the glider. What? Okay. I'm pretty sure I placed that wall, but okay. It's good. Chop Primo.
Yep. She just has a beanie, a white shirt with literally a blue streak in it. The what's it called? The bandana wrapped around her arm is blue. Uh, like blackish pants. Uh, shin guard, white. Pretty fucking basic, I would say. Just a recolor of another skin. Um, but that's really about it for the actual reveal. Let's get into if, or did you miss out, I guess, um, in Battle Ops. Let's, uh, let's do it. So let me first say, you got the skin by having PS Plus. Doesn't matter how you got it, you know, you just PS Plus, seven day for a trial, whatever. Um, and you could just add the skin, you know, add download, whatever, whatever it says. Um, and you just get the skin. Once you log in, you get the skin. I'm pretty sure they lighter. So, it was pretty easy to get. Um, you just had to add PS Plus, which I think a good amount of people had PS Plus back then. But, no one was really playing Fortnite. No one really, you know, knew about it that much. Um, until Season 3, so. people Not that many people have this skin. Uh, I, I think it's still a good amount of people have this skin, but not too many, you know. I would say. Um, but whoa. Um, it was a PS4 exclusive, um, so you had to have a PS4 and a PS4, you know, a PS Plus subscription. Um, either the free one, or just the trial, or the, you know, one month, whatever. Um, you know, you couldn't get it on Xbox. You couldn't even link your accounts on Xbox until later down the line. So if you, you know, you couldn't link your Epics, I don't think, yet until later down the line when they had to crossplay, so... You couldn't get it on the Xbox until later down the line, until they added it to uh, the crossplay, and then account merging came out. Um, so it's you know it's relatively you know rare I would say, um, but, you know not extraordinary. But um, did you miss up? No, I don't think you did. It's literally a recolor of another skin, um, and I think it's pretty pretty eh. I would say pretty eh. You know. It's just blue with a little, you know, different colors on it than the other, for the, the, what was it? I don't even know the name. It was just the girl with, basically it was all white, I think it was. Um, Arctic girl, I don't remember her name. Um, yeah, there really isn't anything to the skin that's pretty bland and basic. It's just a color change to make it more things blue and PlayStation-like. Um. Let's do Ride the Pony, you know, technically not, you know, OG anymore because you just buy Save the World to get the emo, but I would say back then it was, I guess, an emo. Um, there really isn't anything to say, it's a fucking bland ass skin, it's so boring, I haven't used this skin since I probably got it until now, I guess, but... Uh, since I got it, I probably used it like once or twice, never again, just main blue squire until, or, fuck ops too, um, until I got more skins for the battle pass. Uh, yeah, it's really about it for this review, there's really nothing else to say. Uh, see ya. Sub if you liked the content. If you enjoyed the video leave a like. Follow Big Tie on social media if you want to see random shit.